Hey everybody, it's Noel Christopher with Renters Warehouse. Just wanted to put a quick video out this late afternoon for those of you that are watching. Uh, so this one's about how you ask people for advice. You know, I get this a lot. A lot of people ask me, can I pick your brain? And that's pretty vague and probably isn't the best best way. And in fact, in 2015, Harvard, uh, Harvard University did a study on this and posted it in the Harvard uh, Business Review. And recently, Gary Bernison, from, uh, the CEO of Corn Ferry, wrote an article article in CNBC. So it was a great find here. But uh, so you should really stop using that phrase, can I pick your brain? You know, to ask uh, effectively somebody uh, advice, it really takes some emotional intelligence, some self-awareness, restraint, diplomacy, and some patience. So I really suggest a couple of things. And this really uh, came from Harvard, Harvard Business Review and an article with Gary Bernison. But uh, you want to start with a positive tone. So something like, I'd love your advice is even better, you know, and, and you have different types of advice that you're asking. So you've got the discreet, more personal advice. You've got actual counsel that you would ask maybe somebody different. You've got coaching and you've got mentoring, you know, so, so you shouldn't be emailing somebody in business or contacting somebody in business and ask him for some personal advice, you're really going to turn them off. And, uh, you know, there are some effective ways to get people to give you advice. So, you know, a couple other things is you want to come prepared with specific details. Uh, so you, you, you want to give something to the connection and you want to be very prepared. You want to ask the right person. For example, you don't ask a CEO for personal advice. And you don't ask everyone. If you ask everyone for the same piece of advice, you're going to get so many different views and different uh, uh, viewpoints and different types of advice. It's going to be pretty confusing. You know, the second, the uh, another thing is you don't assume that you already know the answer. So this isn't to get confirmation of something you already know or to uh, boost your ego that you're you're doing the right thing. Really open yourself up for that advice and don't go into it assuming that you already have the right answer because that's really going to turn off or alienate the person that you're talking to. And the last and final thing is be grateful. So if you really want to tru truly live the life of having a growth mindset and you want to take advice from other people, then you also need to be very grateful. So just some quick tips and something I was thinking about when I've uh, recently been getting a lot of connections requests of people asking if they could pick my brain, pick my brain about real estate investing. And, uh, you know, I'm starting to have to be a little bit more uh, picky about who I um, interact with. So look at those things. Take the can I pick your brain out of your vocabulary and think of a more effective, um, high EQ, diplomatic way of asking for advice. Thanks for watching. Please post some comments on what you think, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.